So it usually takes a few seconds for the stream to start. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Today is uh, October 6, 2019. And uh, today's live stream is an open discussion on relationships, uh, the do's and don'ts of human interaction. Okay, and I don't know what number this is that we've done so far uh, regarding relationships. Philly, thank you for the follow. Um, but basically, name of the game is, uh, it's an open discussion. We can talk about almost anything you guys want, but preferably more focus towards uh, relationships. And it doesn't, it's do's and don'ts of human interaction, but it goes a little bit beyond that of more than just personal interaction. It's also societal interaction between different cultures, um, countries, events that uh, trigger certain things happening okay um and we're basically first few minutes is uh, just meet and greet uh, we wait up until people start rolling into the stream and that's exactly what we're going to do today let me show you what i got as a snacks this is sort of become a stream ritual uh tea Magus, how are you doing? Oh, hi. We're rolling in. Nice, nice. Glad to have you. Cornelian cherry liqueur. I can't have enough of this. And it's a good thing I'm not streaming every day because I, I'm reserving drinking this during the streams. Reno Mike, how are you doing? Fantastic. Tart, tart very delicious made some cuckoo today so had a little cuckoo for lunch and this is amazing it's like we've got a couple of videos uh, it's a persian dish it's like lots of greens chopped up herbs and greens and stuff and then you add a little bit of flour eggs and you cook it up Billy, how's it going, Chicho? I've been watching your streams on YouTube, but I was finally able to catch my first one live. Nice, nice to have you, Philly. Yeah, loading them on YouTube and BitChute is um, it's nice, just doing the live streams. And I've actually started, I got my video editor back up. So what I just started doing this week, basically, was uh, the Bob Ross of Persian cuisine. <laughs> is there anything you don't cover? And there are things that I don't cover that I might cover in the future, but we'll keep it on the down low for now. Later on, we might get into the little more heated topics, I guess. Um, but basically, this week, I sort of got my full-blown editor back up. So I've been taking the streams in and cutting up little sections and posting those on as little shorts and then loading up the full stream. Intrepid. Greetings, greetings. How are you doing? And um, what I'm doing is when I'm taking it into the editor, I'm kicking up the the volume, the the sound on this, and I'm adding a couple of filters just to filter out the noise. And I'm going to play around with that just to see how this mic works. Uh, I do need to free up a lot more space. It's just temporary. I need to do an upgrade. Um, but that's what I'm doing. And I got some video that I've shot, HD camera with the lapel mic that I need to edit. But I'm sort of phasing things back in again so there'll be a lot more videos coming on youtube uh long-winded uh sort of thing catch your uh live for the first time wig one wig wigga wig one wigga wig one wigga you know what your name sounds like sounds like a hip-hop song from spm south park mexican and it's wiggy 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 can't you see <laughs> something like that it's a phenomenal song by the way that's what it reminded me of wwg1 wga wwg1 wga what does it stand for it's probably be uh be so cool getting to actually interact with everyone and not just watch yeah for sure and the live stream is a different beast right it's pretty cool and just so you know I've edited it for the next stream. Um, what was it? Uh, it was economic stream. The one that's going to be loaded on BitChute on YouTube, there's a couple of chunks missing. Okay. So when you're watching it live, 
if I get the chance if everything works out fine live is live everything included when it's gonna be uploaded to BitChute and YouTube and whatever platform we load on I might take out little chunks just so we don't get nailed by the sensors right Jay Morris good evening bite a cuckoo usually eat this with yogurt but I had a fair bit today already X now what are you doing have you studied any philosophy or did you stick to the hard sciences um have I taken any philosophy courses I took the philosophy of logic uh, at university I might have taken another one but the philosophy of logic was the truth tables and by the way Keegan welcome to another live stream uh, philosophy of logic um, the people it was a big auditorium I took first year of it I just want to see what it was like right coming from a math background I found the course to be ridiculously easy like it was crazy right and we were watching you know not watching but taking a course it was a big auditorium there's a lot of people taking it I guess it was a mandatory course for arts students um, philosophy whatever sociology whatever they were taking some people found it hard uh, when I was taking it and for me it was just like this is your philosophy like uh, the quantifying philosophical ideas and thoughts so I took that and I, I think I took another course but my my main philosophy comes from reading uh, nothing formal in academia how do you spell that uh, food's name looks good it's uh it, there's two different spellings uh i guess the official one is k-u-k-u -U. if you actually do k-u-k-u -U and then chicho um, there's at least two videos we have up where we've made cuckoo and i show you the recipe and i got a little bit of couscous here eat it with couscous as well and couscous is good i don't need too much of this we had this so i just cooked it up It's like very bland, but complements the cuckoo really well. And this thing, the her the herbs and the greens that I have in this, this has got uh, kale, uh, beet greens, uh, turnip greens, the green tops all chopped up, uh, kale all chopped up, uh, some parsley, some Italian parsley, some cilantro, and green onions, right? And you wash them of course and chop them up and put them in a bowl and add a little bit of flour and uh, I made two big pans and two big pans took eight eggs right and a little bit of baking soda just to give it a little puff right and a lot of oil okay it's really delicious it's really good it's um I don't know today I've had like five of these so far and I'm still munching on them this is like full-on um full on your green dose herb dose uh, if I had to gather a guess you've read some uh, Marcus Aurelius uh, stab in the dark um, I don't that doesn't ring a bell Marcus Aurelius does um, I believe but I don't know uh, stab in oh stab in the dark meaning you you're stab in the dark I thought that was what he's written um, maybe maybe i don't know i'm really bad with names uh keegan uh, has been donated flep fecus has been donated one thousand dollars three three yes whoa is that for real i don't know if that's for real i really love you flep flep the uh, oh cool i'll check out those okay cool i really flep the kit five <laughs> the skit five i'm trying to pronounce the name lots of love that's for real if it is brother thank you i'm going to be upgrading the system a little bit very much appreciate it i definitely need to get uh, a mic stand then have it come up closer so the sound quality is better and i'll see it's not real yeah the x thank you but if it was thank you right i could definitely use funds to upgrade my systems I'll put it that way all right but thanks X I saw these come up uh, 
when I first started streaming, it was really weird. When I first got on Twitch, all of a sudden you saw a lot of views and stuff like that. And then some of these things came in. I'm really curious to see if this is an Amazon thing to keep people wanting to do and like looking for that kick um, or if it was just trolls or whatever coming in. Aurelius focuses on uh, stoicism. He's really insightful stoicism. I can look at what stoicism is. Uh, keep it up. The good work will do. Thank you for the thoughts, though. Thank you for the thoughts. I gotta look this up. Uh, stoicism. I gotta find out what stoicism is. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I want to pop a cuckoo. Stoicism. So let me read this to you guys just on the wiki which isn't the best source but it is a source on the first level anyway stoicism is a school of hellenistic philosophy founded by zeno of citium in athens in the early third century bc stoicism is is a philosophy of personal ethics informed by a system of logic and his views on the nature natural on the natural let me click i gotta go deeper in this views on the natural world okay so let's read the second sentence stoicism is a philosophy of personal ethics informed by its system of logic and his views on the natural world which sounds pretty cool according to his teachings as social beings the path to happiness uh, for humans is found in accepting the moment as it is pre as it presents itself by not allowing oneself to be controlled by the desire for pleasure or fear of pain which is live in the moment present moment by using one's mind to understand the world and to do one's part in nature's plan and by working together in treating others fairly and justly uh, sounds pretty legit i mean that is sort of a core sort of uh, philosophy I try to have right treat people fairly nature is you know is beautiful but also could be very brutal and stuff like that so uh, okay Aurelius Aurelius what was the name of the guy the main guy Aurelius Marcus Aurelius so this is uh, from the Roman era the Roman Empire I guess he has a diary which was converted into a book called meditation which is really good you know what now that we're talking about it more i don't think i've read his stuff right but the philosophy the same mindset i've read from other people i mean it's sort of a core philosophy of a lot of different philosophies and religions and stuff see how this sounds uh like you yeah that book marcus aurelius okay cool he was a Roman emperor. Oh, he was a Roman emperor. Thanks, Spectre. I've looked into, uh, just so you know, I've I've been, just because I've been following Marcus Aurelius, that's why I know the name. That's right. Was a Roman emperor from uh, um, 161 to 180 uh, and a Stoic philosopher. I'm assuming that's, uh, uh, would that be A, this gotta be, yeah, it's AD. It's not BC. I'm like, mm. um, what do you call it? Uh, I've been reading up a little bit on Roman emperors and the Roman Empire and stuff like this, and some of the, I guess, uh, the Roman emperors basically because I've been following uh, Martin Armstrong's blog, and he's a pretty avid historian of that uh, of that period, which is cool, which is cool. He's one of the greats of Rome. He was a tactician too, I believe. Okay, cool, cool. There's so many. The Roman Empire was so long, so vast that they, I'm amazed they did such a poor job of teaching it to us, for me anyway, in school, which is crazy because it spanned hundreds of years, but they really focused on, you know, you read Julius Caesar or you read neo or whatever it is the rome burning down and stuff but you don't read about 
the huge uh, philosophical achievements and social achievements that they had. Obviously, it was an empire, so it was pretty brutal. Uh, one of the other things, just from the engineering, is the roads, right? If Romans were building, uh, building infrastructure right now, it wouldn't be crumbling. Is this is this relationship talk we're doing? How's everybody's relationship going? <laughs> this it's pretty crazy in the world right now, right? So a lot of relationships are under stress. Magus, my monkey paw wish would be for Chicho to be a narrator for all audio books. <laughs> oh man, I would brutalize all the names and all the books. Really. When I read that, did the reading for uh, Rye number zero, there's a character there, which is the first geomancer uh, for, from Valiant Comics. His name is Jeff, but the spelling was G E O P A. So I kept on during that whole reading, which is over two hours, I kept on referring to it as Geoff. <laughs> I called Jeff Geoff. So if you're okay with names being totally weird. <laughs> I'll do your audiobook readings. Geoff, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. It just didn't click to me, right? I'm about to take a knee. Scary stuff for me. What do you mean, take a knee? What is it? Are you proposing? Are you proposing, Keegan? Is that what you mean, take a knee? Pro oh my god. Hardcore. That's serious business. That's serious business long-term relationship or short yeah congratulations have you been together for a long time or a short time yeah we're going on vacation to japan in a few weeks and i'm trying to plan it out oh dude it's going to be intricate hoping for you brother hoping for you it all works out well congrats man congrats man good luck there's a lot of structural expectations around it how so are they uh, very, very traditional? Did I miss much conversation? Sleepy waves, how you doing? Um, conversation so far, it's just an intro right now. We're just talking around. Uh, what do you call it? Keegan is about to propose uh, to his... No, 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 no. So like, oh, he's about to tell us a story. What her mom thinks I'll do, what she expects, what her friends expect and you probably going to do something completely different i hope if 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 what you're doing is what she expects maybe ah maybe not you want to surprise her i guess catch her off guard i don't know give her that adrenaline that wow amazement i don't think i can keep everyone happy no way never in any relationship no way you could keep everyone happy hey man focus on your own expectations very well said morrison don't just try to appease yeah yeah pink <laughs> punk sticks out yeah it's difficult right because if you i agree with morris if you constantly try to please your partner or appease is it appease you said uh, yeah if you if you constantly try to appease i guess your partner it, it's not going to work out you have to be who you are right and they have to accept you for who you are and you them right there are there will always be a little bit of conflict because there are things about the other person you won't understand until you spend a tremendous amount of time together and you hear all the stories of their childhoods and the relationships and then you can put things into context or realize why this person does this thing the way they do this thing right but that's the beauty of long-term relationships, right? In my humble opinion, um, the only two people's opinion who matter are yours and your partners. Magus, 100% agree on that, right? You should try to uh, be kind, gentle, accepting, open to your partner's family because your partner's family is your family, right? If you try to... Um, shut them out and I've seen people do this in relationships they are not accepting of, of their partner's family and that in the long run doesn't end well right 
any advice for someone who may be too nice in a relationship and that is causing some of the lust uh, to fade um, have I had that problem <laughs> I don't know I have I have I, I like too nice could be too tolerant or very tolerant accepting of of things that may interfere uh, in your love growing I understand intrepid what you're saying um, I think at some point you have to face uh, deal with the issues you have right being nice and kind is not a bad thing really it's not a bad thing as long as the other person that you're in a relationship doesn't abuse that that kindness right it's hard to tell uh when you're being too nice or uh, or not it seems you know what be as nice as you can that's what i try to do i i go all out right if they're your partner for me as far as i'm concerned or your friend you give you give as much as you can and family you give as much as you can but there comes a line if they're if your kindness your is being really abused and not appreciated you can explain to them look i'm doing this because i love you okay i want to be with you but please don't take that love and kindness and use it as a doormat right you can be hard and kind at the same time to explain your situation if they continue to do it maybe that isn't the relationship for you i know it isn't for me if i'm used as a doormat for a long time i tend to walk away okay stop being too nice um i don't know if stop being too nice you can still be nice but you can lay down the explain to whoever you're in a relationship with and it doesn't have to be partner it could be family it could be friends that hey they're stepping out of line right this is all true thanks lust phase and meaningfulness seems to take its place well put keegan yeah like lust is uh, can we ref rephrase that the frequency of lust reduces but meaningfulness increases right and meaningfulness in a relationship is not something that is a is a blip lust tends to be a blip right so initially you're very lustful for each other and then the lust comes in at the appropriate times it's not always right but then meaningfulness takes over so you have to sort of balance things out and if the lust is diminished to a level where you're missing it you you lack it then you need to change things up to kick that back up again because lust is also very important desire and uh wanting is very important it's hard to tell when you're being too nice or it seems okay assert your own interest and make clear your own boundaries obviously without being an asshat yeah obviously without being an asshat and i find i find assert too strong of a word i would say communicate express your desires right if you love uh, something that your partner does not then there, sh there should be an understanding that your partner doesn't have to participate in this thing that they do not like right just like you don't have to participate in everything that they do not they love right if you're not into it you don't need to be part of it if you're spending your life together you're gonna have plenty of time to be together and to do things together right there's in every relationship I've ever had there's things that I love doing that my partner does not and there's things that they love doing that I do not right and when that happens we don't do those things together we do them separately we are our individual beings as well right uh, but we tread this life together right Identif identify your own boundaries and make sure our uh, you are also receiving such kindness yeah do it chicho how are you and your how are you and your relationships 
I have good relationships, I have bad relationships, just like anybody else, right? I've definitely reduced the number of bad relationships I've had, right? And I'm not just talking partner relationships, uh, soulmate or whatever you want to call it. I'm talking about friendships, I'm talking about family, I'm talking about business relationships, all relationships, right? I used to have a lot more bad relationships than I do now. As I've gotten older, I've eliminated some of the bad relationships or reduced the frequency, right? As the saying goes, you know, we're uh, we're born wherever we're born, right? So that's supposed to be a challenge, uh, our, our life's lot, right? May it be the family we're in, the friends we're in, the, the society that we're in, right? So we have to deal with those things but it doesn't mean we have to be those things so if you have a really destructive relationship you don't have to be a destructive person you can explain to that person that your relationship is very destructive and you're gonna reduce the amount of time you guys spend together until things change okay and I've I've been hard I've had friends for a number of years where they've gone down this route I've gone down this route and we sort of said listen man we're going down in different directions love you I know you love me but we can't hang out like sometimes you touch base once a year maybe and there's relationships I've had that have totally severed Doop, done I wish them the best I will be there for them if they ever need me in desperate need of my help but I don't want to interact with them on my daily life or yearly life okay Is getting together good or no? Mm, what do you mean is getting together good or no? Void hook, how are you doing? As a new 25 year old, last year I eliminated every friends of mine. Now how should I do more? <laughs> you eliminated everyone in your in your circle of friends? Void? Is that what you did? Before we continue, let's clarify that. So that means you're friendless right now? You must have certain people you still communicate with had to do that with friends as well it is very difficult yeah very difficult very difficult uh relationships are you know some relationships are easy and then they have huge trying periods some relationships are hard and they have huge rewards right it it's full spectrum seriously full spectrum is crazy human interaction is in is wow right and for me uh my main thing with relationships that i'm in is i try to learn from every relationship that i've had and every relationship that i do have right uh when we bang heads i try to figure out why that's occurring right is there and sometimes fault goes both ways sometimes fault lays on one other one of the people or two of the people Maybe everybody's wrong and you're right. That's more of a rare situation, right? Odd, Mick, how are you doing? I've always thought of relationships as interlocking branches in the tree of life. I don't think anything is meant to last forever. Yeah, I don't think so either, Odd, Mick. Forever is a crazy word. Forever is a crazy word, right? And as we get older, we realize that time is really perception of uh, change right not talking to anyone not, ha not hanging out they were all heavily into hard drugs and other stuff good on you for severing that tie right so I crossed them out I still talk online with one in a video game but I wonder how to make new friends um, new friends come from uh, what I've what I found new friends come from certain things that you love doing uh, certain activities that you participate in uh, certain uh, groups that uh, you want to interact with right like for me i've been lucky i have friends really old friends from high school that i still interact with to new friends that i've met that are very close to me uh, even recently right 
And the only way I've been able to do that is to let go of old relationships because you can't maintain 100 close relationships. You can't even maintain 20 close relationships, right? On a perm on a regular basis. You can have like 20 really close friends that you have or 30 really close friends that you have that you can call up on, but you can't interact with them on a daily basis or a weekly basis or a monthly basis, right? It's it's too much. Uh, first thing void congrats brother or sister right for walking away from those things I had to do that right I had a conversation with a friend of mine a very very close friend of mine he's like a brother to me right and he was like a brother to me back then I, I think he's still alive I don't know but we used to talk every day do amazing things together every day we've done some crazy stuff together right and we did this for like 15 years we interacted it I know things about him that no one knows he knows things about me that no one knows right all of that said over the phone we talked and I said brother you're on a completely destructive path and I have no desire to kill myself in that way okay I want to do other things in life uh, I don't think we can chill together anymore and he was like yeah I know man okay I said best of luck to you if you ever need me desperately let me know otherwise we're gonna to have to end it and since that time that was like 10 years ago right since that time I ran into him once wished him the best we talked uh, and that was it right and I had one email conversation with him uh, drugs uh, alcohol people who are on a destructive path if you can get out of those types of relationships do it do it don't worry about filling the void yet okay as long as, as soon as you start interacting uh, in your community maybe eating out maybe going playing pool maybe joining this group joining that group book club activities sports going for walks going to the beach going shopping you just run into people right outside of very soulless business relationships I find myself in my 30s with very few close friends most have either moved away or gotten married it seems harder to make friends the older you get uh, Magus it is harder to make friends the older you get and that's not necessarily a bad thing because the older you get the friendships that really stick with you they're way more solid than the friendships you might have had when you were younger right um so that's one thing the other thing is you might be working too much if you're working you know six days a week ten hours a day you have no time to build close relationships because building relationships with people requires time energy caring being there for them and they for you right but if you're working all the time if someone messages you and says hey listen do you feel like going for a walk then you say oh no I gotta work maybe that was your opportunity that was an extremely close relationship that you just passed up on right so you have to make yourself available uh, for people not everyone but at times I find by the way Magus I find that in our society right now I'm pretty sure in different parts of the world people work so much that they have no time to build close relationships so that's yeah uh, consider that that's sort of you have to evaluate that right are you at university void are you at university how old are you join a club play some sports yeah Otmik I agree with Otmik uh, go go to if you live in I don't know if this exists outside of Canada United States but there are um, board gaming groups uh, I know in my city there is you can there's board gaming store right where you can you know it's a coffee shop and they have tables set up where people can put play board games and stuff like this you can go there and find out if anybody wants to play a board game that they need people to play I'm pretty sure I I think that's the way they operate 
you know, they might have a list of people are looking for fillers, right? Find out if there's any fillers and join a board gaming group, right? Amazing. Like I've, I've joined pool clubs, right? Playing pool and stuff like this. Void. 25. Never went to college. I don't really do sports. I'm more of a paintballer myself. Well, paintball is a huge activity. Right? But paintball sort of attracts a certain type of people to void, right? <laughs> I've had students that played paintball. And uh, it's the gaming group, really. Uh, there must be really tight paintball groups, right? Do you feel it is more difficult to make meaningful connections with people in the dig digital age? Um, no. No. Uh, I find that it's easier to hook up with people who understand you more in the digital age, right? Uh, it, it, you know, we do create bubbles for ourselves. So if I'm interested in something, maybe politics, economics, social activity, gaming, or whatever it is, I can go down the rabbit hole and know almost everything about this right so on that level it's difficult for people to penetrate my understanding of the system or my perceived understanding of the system but when you meet someone who's that intense about that thing as you are oof, that is a sweet ass relationship really right so i don't know if it's uh, it's made it more difficult uh, i think uh, some of the relationships have become more meaningful uh, is there some kind of paintballing club or team uh, you can join void yeah right um, good question on is there void a few nights ago i stayed the night over at a friend's house who i recently just got over we had a casual fling a few months ago uh, but she ended it uh, because i was more into her than she was into me took me a while to actually uh, process it two nights ago seeing seeing being seeing her being again uh, was super less intense and i almost wanted to laugh at how dramatic i was being however i can't tell if i feel more grounded now enough to see this person in a casual manner or just let it go altogether i'm really attracted uh, attractive to them uh, or attracted to them i guess uh, sleepy waves let it be if you enjoy their company uh, you want to spend time with them spend time with them uh, don't infatuate over them right and the person I think was being uh, I'm assuming sleepy waves you guys are pretty young right because if one person it, it's it it's a rare where I've seen relationships where both people are into each other intensely on the same level it really doesn't happen right it's rare that's hollywood right or one out of a million people or a couple right usually there's one person that is more into the other person than that person is into them right but if this person is mature and if they don't have anything else going on there might be you know other things going on that they want to get to know and stuff like this but if this person is not in a relationship They'd be foolish to say, oh, I'm not into you as much as you are into me. Well, if you haven't crossed that boundary, how do you know? Because once you get into a relationship, you get to know the deeper person in a big way, right? Their kinks, their flaws. So if the relationship's a good sleepy waves, I'd stick with it, right? It doesn't have to be intimate. All relationships are int intimate, right? I'm 32. I have few friends. I'm very close with. Uh, that's all I need. Uh, you learn when you're a younger, who is a true friend, and who is just out to get something from you. Ajibas, I, I think your sentence. I'm not gonna try that reading that again. It just read weird. Uh, I think what you're saying is when you're younger, you get taken advantage of easier and i agree 
as you get older you realize what you don't want right the kicker in life is not to figure out what you want in life is to figure out what you don't want in life right the type of relationships you don't want the type of job you don't want right the type of people you don't want to hang around the type of activities you don't want to do as soon as you eliminate the things you don't want slowly you start getting you know empty spots that you need to fill and hopefully you're wise enough to fill them in with things that you do want to do right just go slow right thank you for your kind words magus everyone really there's a lot of great advice being put out here as i said i'm 25 and in high and in high school i was one of those popular kids 4500 plus social media oh too much kill that social media everyone knew my uh, my head and uh, to recently went friendless kind of made my life less of a burden i used to do things in a way so that other people could think something of me my mind seems more sharp now than i than i don't have to do things to impress others void man it sounds like you're in an amazing headspace right uh go that way right i i sort of feel you uh it's hennessy sunday here <laughs> what what you sipping on and hennessy is amazing by the way i've drank my share of hennessy this is my cornelian cherry liqueur i told myself i'm only going to drink this right now uh well, only when i'm doing live streams i might start doing live streams every day no <laughs> it's really delicious it's really delicious and void it sounds like you're in an amazing headspace i think uh, personally i think you made the right choice Four thousand five hundred social media no Four, four. you can sit down if your life depended on you to name 300 of the people on your social media network right unless you're really into maybe 500 i can't even imagine 500 right uh, yeah reduce that like for me i spent the time in my life where i really uh, i think it was during my university i didn't for two years i closed myself off i didn't want to interact with anyone right friends and stuff some people i called i was in a different unit different uh, uh city so i didn't make any friends locally right i stay in touch with some friends that i had in my hometown and when i went back i partied with them and stuff like this when i went back to university no friends right didn't even have a tv i read books uh, <laughs> played soccer i went for walks all right if you press alt f4 i subscribe i have no idea what alt f4 does sam x oh yeah i've seen a couple of uh follows uh, follows and subs i don't know if subs showed up but follows i uh, thank you for the follows and if you've subbed thank you for the subs okay i'm 20 so all i've known is digital age so i'm lacking that perspective of the previous era um specter uh that's too bad really uh i love the digital age as you can tell right absolutely love it i hopped on it right away when it came up right in the early 90s i was online right late 80s i was online okay but uh, it's not being connected to 4500 people is a brilliant thing really however the digital age gives a certain depth to some of your relationships that you want to grow okay um, i'm not even sure if you can ever get that perspective back again you could if you went to places where social media is not as large or you just cut yourself off of show, social media the problem is there's a lot of people in our society that want to connect with you through social media like i know people I have friends that recent friends that they're on Facebook right and they want to hook up they want to communicate through Facebook and I've told them man just send me an email right I, I don't even barely do text right I just said send me an email 
and let's hook up in person. So I make an effort to meet people in person. And that's one thing that you can do if you're only uh, reliant on digital age, on social media, right? Like a lot of my friends that I've had when initially anyway, a lot of a lot of my friends, old school friends and stuff like this, and some of my recent friends, uh, when we hook up, they know that my cell is either not with me or turned off, right? So when they start looking at their cells, I bring it up, I go, you're you're checking your messages a lot is there something important you look looking for waiting for and if they say no i go then you must are you like addicted to social media why do you keep on looking at the screen uh, let's turn it off right uh, some people don't like it and if they don't like it i don't really hang out with them too much if i'm hanging out with someone and they're constantly have their phone with them and tweeting texting talking whatever it is that they're doing commenting i i don't get too much out of that so we don't i don't hang around with them for long right i pour a drink i hope others join me salute to those who are enjoying a sunday chill session Jefferson's Reserve bourbon. Jefferson's Reserve. I don't know Jefferson's Reserve. He needs some um, commas. Oh, reading stuff. Yeah, commas help out a lot when reading stuff. <laughs> Go slow. Go slow. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. And the interface, how are you doing? Hi, Lonely Piggy. Magus says cheers boy Chicho. can't wait until my strawberry liqueur is really a uh, strawberry liqueur is it uh, sleepy waves have you tasted it yet is it ready this cornelian cherry within two weeks was tasting amazing like really the flavor absorbed the flavor as fast as the strawberries I talk a lot online with uh, PlayStation I talk daily to two to three guys and I feel like our friendship is really strong more than some of those uh, fake cats high schoolers yeah void dude sounds like you're you're doing all the right things Shalom Shalom ladies and gents I'm new to this channel Gomez Adamin 5 welcome to our channel Oh, are you just trolling, brother? No, oh, you're a silly little guy. Really? Oh, look at this! Look at this! Oh, let me let me do a ban. Sorry, gang. If you guys see a troll, uh, well, I was way behind, so. <laughs> so if you guys see a troll, let me know. Uh, I know I I lose the stream. Okay, so I've scrolled all the way down. I missed some chat, unless I see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me scroll up, see if there's anything Chicho standing out. Uh, what are some date ideas aside for from eating out? I always feel like I'm in a interview at a restaurant. Oh, sleepy waves. Date ideas, brother. So many. I've done some crazy stuff with uh, on dates. I've taken dates on cliff jumping. Didn't work out too well. Long walks is amazing. Walks are amazing. Go to the beach, right? Forget a restaurant. If you have your own space, invite him over and cook, right? Some of my most amazing relationships I've ever had has been people I'm interested in watching me perform in the kitchen cook for them right that i highly recommend if you have a kitchen if you know how to cook right invite them over give them a you know have a stool in your house or sort of an open bar system where they can sit down and cook food for them and when you're cooking food don't just cook one dish right play around with different foods give little samplers to them right enjoy pour yourselves a drink uh, 
chit chat, have a little music going on, invite them over to listen to music, go to a concert, go to a show, go to a, and it doesn't have, don't take them to a stadium show. Well, you could, I guess, but go to little local restaurants and pubs where they're playing more of a sort of a blues, jazz, electronic. If they're into festivals, say, hey, listen, I want to go to this festival and, you know, I can't find anyone to go with me. They're not into this type of music. If you're into this, you know, be on the up and up and say, hey, listen, you bring your tent, I'll bring my tent. We can just get the space together and we can just enjoy this festival together. Go play pool. I play pool on a lot of dates. Uh, anything. All right. Restaurant is not bad. I've gone to many restaurant dates, uh, but the formal restaurants are too posh, posh, puffy, puffy. Right. Congrats, Chicho. You attracted a troll. <laughs> we can't those here. <laughs> Do we have another troll? No, we don't have another troll. There we go. Sorry about that, gang. Sorry about that, gang. Imagine tro trolling ASMR streams. Yeah, that person has to work on their relationship skills, <laughs> right? <laughs> Even if you can't cook, get them to help and make it together. Oh, dude, make it together for sure. Kitchen is a funny thing, though, right? Um, for me, one thing you can do if you don't know how to if you know how to cook you can get them to do the prep work can you chop up the onions <laughs> see if you can handle it if they you know if you love food if you love cooking and you know they feel weird chopping onions oh, some people don't like onions right give them something neutral to chop up do a little prep or wash right is late late night car rides a date sure I've done really here's one thing I've done on dates should I tell you check this out one of the things I used to do on dates I used to have a pathfinder actually I'm not a pathfinder uh, but back in the 20 years ago more than that 25 years ago I had a pathfinder I had a pathfinder because I did a lot of geophysics work right so I needed the space right but I also had my pathfinder dialed in okay uh, you can learn so much about someone from the way their kitchen 100% uh, the kitchen is ridiculously important right uh, and what I did with my Pathfinder I had amazing music that I listened to right I had food in the car I had drink in a car I had herb in the car all in the back of course never in the front right and one thing I had in my Pathfinder was I had a candle right? and I would put it where the stick shift was right and i would light the candle we'd go on a date just go on a drive and i love drive just drive around neighborhood drive explore your city right forest like driving out of the city at night and parking the car and looking up into the sky is amazing right but one thing we used to do is sit in the car light the candle and drive around maybe even just drive around the city right really drive around the city listen to music not blasting music right like you're you know 16 17 years old but nice chill music conversation light a candle there's something that happens when there is a candle lit between people when they're talking it it intensifies things right and the lighting it used to give inside the car was magical right it just calms calms things down okay so late night car rides I know sounds funny but as long as the trust is there this wasn't on a first date basis right the first time I've ever met them take them on a late car drive into the <laughs> into the forest N might not be a good idea right might not be a good idea okay dating dating is magical or it can be magical it can also be extremely extremely frustrating hey there chicho how's it going 
doing good to guess stooges the three stooges that's right the three stooges i'm glad i'm uh i'm learning how to pronounce people's names because as soon as i pronounce it i go oh, i remember the three stooges mostly frustrating for me yeah i've gone through periods extremely frustrating frank really i've gone through periods where you want an intense new relationship and it's just not there no matter what you do uh, you encounter bad ones or you get into situations where the poop hits the fan right i've been in that situation and usually those occur when there's alcohol involved and huge bar settings and stuff like this odd mick a few months ago i found out i couldn't have children my boyfriend wanted his own biological children we eventually realized it made our relationship incompatible i'm not phased yet by my own infertility i'm only 21 i don't even have many friends who are in long-term relationships but it's surreal to have a two-year relationship and so suddenly because of an issue you didn't know existed yeah Odmic, i'm sorry about that uh, intense but you know what Odmic? um it might be for the best oh dude it's strange how compelling it is to talk about personal issues on the internet i wonder if it's because of the anonymity possibly and it's also people get uncomfortable talking about difficult topics when you're young because you don't have enough life experience to put things into context like for me when i read your comment uh you know i feel you i know i've known people in my life that have encountered this right but right now with the life experience that i have i realize that for me it can be a big issue but it's not a big issue life can drop things on you that make uh not being able to have children seem you know dwarf in comparison and odd uh did you want to have children i mean the kicker is uh i'm okay with adoption personally right there they just because i've been around kids long enough to know that dna even though dna dictates certain life traits certain health issues or non-issues every human being has the capacity to be anything they want to be right so i'm personally okay with adoption okay maybe your partner for two years wasn't uh, but the one thing i can tell you as well uh, I don't want to lessen the value of that relationship but you know 19 to 21 it's very young to be in a relationship that is assumed that it's going to be permanent for a long time um, it's very young i know i had my head up my for a very long time after <laughs> like my 20s man I would have hate to have been in a relationship with me in my 20s straight up right minimum wage job ideas not in the kitchen any go for a walk if they like nature void go for a walk in in your neighborhood check out people's gardens in the on the beach go beach combing there's some amazing stuff you can find on the beach uh go out in the woods around the lake there's you know i know in my part of the world there's trails that you know surround lakes there's a lot of lakes in my area so go for walks around lakes just outdoor stuff is cost nothing right um, aside from that go to the library go to a bookstore really i've had friends that say that uh for their first date and female friends for their first date they would like to take a guy to a bookstore and not 
chapters. I mean, it's okay, like big box chain bookstores. Take them to local little used bookstore places or just bookstores, right? There's some local bookstores we have in our area which are like three stories and like you could spend weeks in there, right? And grab a book and read a book together. Or you read a book, they read a book. Just be together in proximity. Once you're together in proximity, they move in a certain way, right? When they move in a certain way, that builds a little bit of relationships, right? One of the great things I, I love doing with dates is going for a walk in the city all over the place from the ghetto, you know, needle park to high end posh places. I just can't meet anyone who fits in my lifestyle. Uh, Frank, um, change your activities a little bit, right? Oh, dude, it's strange. I thought, oh, yeah, I read that. I'm going slow with this chat. Oh, my God, I'm so slow with this. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Internet is a beautiful space. Internet is a beautiful space. Give a person a mask and they'll tell you the truth or full of lies, right? Well, deep. Or full of lies agent provocateurs well I guess they're telling the truth right when they create chaos uh, sleepy wave Chicho how to be more direct with people is what you want yeah sometimes I feel like I can't ask for what I want from people sometimes because it's on me to figure out what is what I need but also because I just can't bring myself to bring things up and confront certain conversations sleepy waves uh, I agree with you that's a major issue and it's a bigger it's becoming a bigger issue because of the PC culture right people are triggered right now like crazy like let me tell you about one date I went on right okay I'm gonna there's no trolls if there's any trolls let me know I'm gonna scroll down and then I'll try to scroll up and see the thing here's a date that I went on right Here, here's here's how the person met me saw me right is there anything serious I should be answering I don't know if there's gonna be a long reply for me or not let me scroll down a little bit uh, I really think uh, okay if there's anything serious let me know but uh, hail Hydra hail Hydra <laughs> I hope that's referring to something common about hand, right so I was shooting a math video ASMR math video it's the ASMR math video where we're doing substitution and solving quadratic functions and stuff like this, where I have my paper on a tree, right? This is a few years ago. So I was in this park during the day and me and there was a couple of other people there walking their dogs. Like it was a huge, beautiful park. And I had camera set up doing math on a tree, right on paper. And these two girls were playing like, they were going on the swings they're not girls they're they're women right they were going on the swings, sliding and stuff like this and i found out you know they slowly made their way close to me because they were trying to figure out what the hell is this guy doing right so they came by and stuff like this and we interacted and i got one of their numbers right she was she really wanted to connect right and i found out the that she was just uh you know this friend that they met online right she had flown over from the UK right to Vancouver to meet this person they met online and they were spending the day together or they're spending a week together she was meeting them and stuff like this like oh cool, that's cool and she really wanted to hook up right so you know we exchanged numbers and we decided to go on a date I took her to or we went together to a ramen house eating Japanese noodles now at the restaurant or on the way to the restaurant we sort of had wait outside a little bit and we were talking and I said oh by the way yeah and I said oh that, that, that. we started talking I go oh, I'm very active online and I you know checked you out online she goes you did what now for me I'm online a lot if I'm gonna go on a date with someone I'm gonna do a search like seriously why wouldn't you do just do a search and she was like why did you look me up online don't you want this to be uh exciting and ins 
spontaneous and stuff i go well me looking your name up online was spontaneous for me <laughs> I, I checked out who you are right i don't know who you are like i just wanted to check you out i for me it just didn't register and she goes oh blah, blah, blah. i go you know i'm sorry i'm online a lot right um i've never met anyone that was freaking out about this you know i'm not a stalker or anything you came to me like i like online you know who i am because i told her who i was she could check everything that i've done right my content and then i said oh yeah by the way just so you know it's totally fine doesn't everybody check people online? I, don't. <laughs> I guess she was a little paranoid maybe I, I don't know maybe she was triggered by something and i said oh by the way just checking online just so you know your resume is online she goes what my resume is online <laughs> I go, I like your resume is online and it says what you like and all this stuff and whatnot i go i didn't look too deep into it i just wanted to check you out right just that's it right she goes oh my god my resume is online and so you start freaking out we went on a few other dates after that and it didn't work out she was a she was okay girl she still owes me 40 dollars. <laughs> she's okay girl right or a woman right but it is what it is right some people just initial major thing they don't you can't mesh with them right <laughs> yeah that, that interest is piling up <laughs> googling someone does does not equal stop yeah i know simply making sure they're not an axe mur <laughs> it's okay <laughs> i'm funny i'm funny i'm funny i'm gonna go back up and read a couple of the comments that i missed all right uh i really think people put too much expectations on uh early relationships yeah uh, two people who have no idea who they are or what they want is very likely to fail yeah you gotta spend time and just be proximity be within proximity together right just walk in the city and see how they handle panhandlers what do they do with panhandlers what did they do take them places where you know there's graffiti and i've done this right go to graffiti alley in your city usually in an alley right make sure there there's people around so they're not paranoid right take them to places where there's graffiti on the walls and see their you know how they behave right what they think one day i i went on we went to a restaurant and there's an art gallery happening right and the, I won't go into detail on that, but I've gone to uh, really in first days we've gone on. We've gone to art galleries, right? Showings. We go from um, in my city or both cities I've been to. They have art neighborhood art gallery shows or something like this, where there's galleries opening up where you can uh, I forget what they're called, like hop gallery hopping, something like this. See how they interact with art. Huge, huge. For me, it is. I collect comic books. Art is very important to me. Yeah, but I love, uh, but love is the answer. Most people are looking for a lifetime devotion of love, Chicho. Not me. I'm looking for a shallow half hour. <laughs> the three stooges. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> Had to get a retraining order back in February against an ex. Oh, no, a restraining order. Oh, who was stalking me and sending lies about me to my pl oh man that's unfortunate relationships definitely have ups and downs but the ups usually outweigh the downs hopefully hopefully magus yeah i think i want uh, so i like, yeah i think i wanted to have children i still uh, think i want to have children i was always fine with adoption but i guess he wasn't it didn't come up until it eventually did yeah of course long-term planning at my age probably foolish and idealistic but what's the point of being young if not foolish and idealistic well said Admik. well said and by the way just your comments Admik. you are you are comparing myself to 21 man you are way way more together mature grounded 
intelligent than I was when I was 21. I really, seriously, just your comments and your interaction and your thoughts and mathematics, of course. Uh, so, man, uh, God make you're doing phenomenal, really. But I love my life. I don't want to change it. Uh, so, Frank, change it to meet someone. I rather meet someone who fits in my lifestyle. But women love stability and safety. I thrive in the chaos. I travel the world full time. Uh, Frank, uh, it's not just women that that uh, love stability and safety. Men as well. In general, our current education system, political system, economic system, has instilled fear in the Western world anyway. For majority of people in the Western world, that they seek out stability and safety. They want this, mm, right? They fear this. For me, Frank, I'm with you. I'm I'm this. I do this. Sometimes I don't want to do this. I don't want to come down, right? But I put myself when I was doing this. I put myself in a situation where the poop hit the fan and psh, I did this, right? And then I gotta crawl back up. Every time that this happens, I learn a lot more about life, right? Where all of a sudden i control the ups and the downs or this extreme versus this extreme uh, how how low it goes or how intense it goes to whatnot uh, there are people out there who also appreciate this right and by the way you can't say you don't want to change uh change it to meet so uh, to meet someone i've in a lot of my relationships I've been in, I had to change certain aspects of my behavior to be with that person, right? Or adjust certain aspects of my behavior to be that with that person. And that was a good thing, right? There's no way I can say that I know everything. I, I definitely knew very little when I was in my 20s. <laughs> like, seriously, I was silly, right? To put it lightly. I've, I've been told I can't use the R word anymore, right? So I'm not going to say I was R because I was, right? So uh, I'm glad I had to change, uh, improve myself. And I'm very grateful for those relationships that planted that seed in me, right? Because the whole point of life should be, we should try to improve, right? Uh, Boyd, hey, it's totally fine. Doesn't everybody check? Yeah, that's the Googling someone that for send your collection. First, you stalk them online, then you bring them to a dark alley. <laughs> Frank, <laughs> this is scary. Yeah. And that person, by the way, we went to a show together and uh it was a halloween and i dressed up as something i won't say what it was right i had firecrackers and stuff and um the pounded screecheroos right if you know fireworks pounded screecheroos together right um and she turned to me looked me in the eye and said you're crazy right and that was the last relationship we went on <laughs> that was the last date we went on <laughs> i'm somewhat off a graph artist myself a uh, graffiti artist myself and i've never thought of doing that how they feel when they see x graffiti is such a genius movie. yeah void dude it it's brilliant i've man i've been on walks with on dates where i take them to a place where it's you know there could be huge tags and some places pretty dirty right you walk around and you see them and they're like they're in awe right that very cool some of them are like oh man just they get ex it's phenomenal yeah take them to some obscure places again the, the trust has to be there don't take them there on a the first date uh, the world is the what it is right thoughts on open relationships yeah for sure if both parties or three parties or four or the whole party everybody is okay with their open relationships sure more and more i find myself meeting people who mostly date 
in that manner i'm kind of into it just uh, it's just so much work on the communication and and setting boundaries yeah sleepy waves a lot of work and in general most of these open relationships i haven't seen them last very long right they last a while and then they fade away and stuff like this uh some that i've seen um that i've known they've they're in an open relationship and you know they have children and stuff like this uh, it's their thing right but to me the more people in a relationship the more complicated a lot of open relationship the way it works is there's no emotional attachment to it and some open relationship is the partner uh, does not meet the uh, physical uh, i don't know what the proper terminology is uh, the people that their partner is seeing once a week or once a month or something like this um, sometimes they introduce them in their relationship that to me would become very complicated uh, right hell yes my friend communism works 100 percent communism where did that come from maybe i missed a comment been watching your uh, videos for a bit i'm happy to catch the stream i hope i can make it around more often the specter tv thanks for being here thanks for being here it's been fun doing doing this stuff for sure open relationships just a license to cheat <laughs> it's not is it a license is a acceptance to cheat approval and it's not really cheating because the other person knows about it right i know you're laughing but, uh, in my humble opinion oh i thought it was a uh, laugh in my uh, i don't know l o a f whatever laugh in my ass off find yourself in aries in aries right i don't know what the uh, aries thing is Ch -ch 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 mask of raven how are you doing how's life keegan chicho in all your years of experience have you ever found a good answer to a good answer for do i look fat in this <laughs> you look beautiful baby <laughs> that's what i say you look beautiful baby sometimes say oh what else did you pick out some fights are just unreasonable too yeah for sure thanks chicho i appreciate it my pleasure on Nick. on Nick, seriously i i say i mean what i say right i mean what i say i don't believe in astrology and i did date an aries before she went absolutely crazy over the smallest thing <laughs> well frank you said you like it chaos that is what you attracted is it not you said ah, oh, that's what sleepy wave says you say you like chaos not petty drama chaos oh, well okay I'll, I'll go with that not petty drama chaos agreed how do you start doing graffiti sounds like it'd be difficult to practice you have to practice on paper first right you can't grab a lot of people i don't know a lot of people uh, you have to get your signature down properly first i don't know if i forget who it was i said they were into graffiti i think it was void most people learn the tagging first you need to get your signature your script down right and then you start doing on paper uh, before you hit the paint cans and stuff from one understand i don't do graffiti but i've known graffiti artists a few frankness i meant moving around all the time getting lost in the world definitely not screaming matches or uh, taking 10 minutes too long to text oh man yeah that's drama drama's out the door man yeah pff, drama right black book textbook yeah oh that's the graffiti yeah perfect textbook markers first train for days and months learn the basics so this is about graffiti i'm going to read this again so how do you get uh odd mix how do you start doing graffiti right so the reply from void is black book textbook markers first train for days and months learn the basics make your own hand style repeat alphabet with it then learn tagging only names not in 3d then when mastered you learn throw-ups quick 3d graphs graffiti 
then you go into wild styles nice learn letter boxes and uh do some uh sort of vandalism yes trains you should did you put trains in there later on yet since this is art you do not hit people people's people uh, people's property no cars no houses no schools go to where there's already graffiti in your city and start art beef perfect excellent advice void excellent advice right and uh, never private property like really okay uh, public I think that's public I think that's if if there's a place where there's a billboard as far as I'm concerned that's fair game if they're spamming the world or trying to program the world into what they're selling you have the right to program pro program the world in what you're selling you may not be paying for that programming right to get your message out but you are putting a lot of time in right most people I know in open relationships don't introduce their partners to each other if so it's more for safety sex practice yeah they have a uh, they know who the person is right uh, when you introduce uh, from what I understand anyway when you introduce the other person that sometimes is on the road to uh, swinging right petty drama is as much chaos as major stuff the little things add up now yeah, petty drama is crazy life throws you enough chaos uh, drama is social engineering social programming but from my experience those people uh, the kuros okay uh, the ku kuros kai uh, from my experience those who participate in drama uh, have had traumatic events happen in their lives when they were younger so you have to dig down and figure out what the trauma traumatic event was or they watch too much reality TV right Hollywood or whatever it is right and they don't know what's important in life so if there's a lot of ridiculous drama that tells me that they really don't know what's important in life they haven't been hit hard yet right and if someone hasn't been hit hard yet or they haven't experimented with entheogens or meditation or whatever it might be the relationship is quite shallow uh, for me for me just want to chime in on professional relationships uh, the following following saying has been beneficial to me so quote show me your friends and I'll show you your future ah seven surround yourself with those who have already achieved the goals you're aiming for yeah also also with people who are striving to do better be better understand the world they know their own flaws right but I love the saying quote show me your friends and I'll show you your future well said one of the sayings on this level that I have is um, and I, 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 I mentioned this before I think I got it from the Godfather or something like this right uh, let me see if I can put it uh, remember it properly uh, intelligent having intelligent enemies is not a problem because intelligent enemies will not hurt you as long as you're also intelligent and you're not doing anything to hurt them the things that hurt you in life are stupid friends and they hurt you by leaps and bounds more than uh, personal decisions right well I guess having stupid friends in your life that is a personal decision but stupid friends end up destroying many lives eliminate the stupid friends in your life odd mech void did I miss that no okay oh, that's cool I've always been so impressed by it whenever I see uh, I, I'm in a big city it's incredible how it's uh, citizens use art to contribute to a city's identity yeah that's graffiti um, what's that graffiti documentary called uh, from, from there's some amazing by the way Odmik, there's some amazing graffiti documentaries out there uh, they're brilliant love them it's one of the elements of hip-hop right graffiti I no longer listen to what women say I just watch what they do behavior never lies Jedi task mm. 
how about men as well <laughs> just people it's not women it's people right i no longer listen to what people say i i just watch what they do behavior never lives yeah i mean the first place you look for that is politicians right billboards are, are called heaven spots if you fail if you fall if you go to heaven <laughs> is that what it's called boy i didn't know that uh i didn't know that dude uh don't generalize one yeah yeah seriously you can't generalize like that dude uh, jedi task women are people and people are different exactly right and we should all always say uh i no longer listen to what some people say majority people say it's not women men like really it's not <laughs> it's, it's your brainwashing programming that has instilled that in you and i don't blame you when i was younger i probably had all i did i did have that mindset as well and then i grew up i entered the world and i realized god damn <laughs> just, everybody's the same we're all the same right we all live this life we're all the same right the way we interact with what's happening in the world depends on what's happened to us up to that point right if we don't like the way certain things are triggering us try to find out why we're being triggered and change it right can i share uh an experience i had recently for sure jeepers for sure we won't judge nah from this applies 10 times more to men if anything yeah stevie ways probably <laughs> i don't know i've known a lot of drama in men man congrats you are the first person to pronounce kuros kai correctly nice awesome yay true i'm just a fan of the butterfly theory cool true i just met some strange woman yeah i bumped into an ex the other day she broke up with me i said hey but i completely blanked and forgot her name she was really upset <laughs> oops <laughs> that's okay that means you got a, you got a you got a good handle on your uh hardware right you found out that a file was corrupt and you deleted it <laughs> oops <laughs> just tell her it was anxiety stress or you had a lot on your mind and didn't expect her then for some reason i followed up with there's there's a lot of names to remember now your hard drive's crashing brother you need to do a little disc clean <laughs> the trick is to never listen to what men or women do mask of raven so let's check it out the trick is to never listen to what men and women do and also not pay attention to how they act and also not leave the house abolish friendship mask of raven <laughs> jeebus uh so the kudos guy to Jeebus, you, you now know why she broke up with you. <laughs> Lay off the 420, brother. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, have you guys watched uh, Steinsgate? I've watched part of it. I still can't find the Steinsgate. I still can't find the. Uh, actually, have I found. No, I still haven't found the, a dub version. Uh, odd make i haven't found a dub version of steingate actually last time i looked was probably a year ago i gotta look it up again tell her you changed uh world lines oh man now i gotta look up steingate again chicho what's your sun sign i feel like you're a capricorn or earth sign and no brother i'm triple gemini from what i've been told love steingate mask of raven says just to clarify it was a year ago we broke up and i hadn't seen her for that long oh yeah jeebus a year ago someone you broke up you haven't seen for a year that's okay your hardware is your your hard drive is okay it was just archived sorry got a bad demon <laughs> if you're in a relationship you should always remember her name oh no unless it was satan then don't worry about it do I remember all of my relationships names I don't know if I saw them 
out of the blue after a few years maybe not oh mask of raven i read that manga you recommended oh which manga was that odd mech sub greater than dub um i disagree mask of raven that's what people always say eh? sub better than greater than dub i disagree because as long as it's good dub right there's a lot of bad dub out there right the early some of the early anime and stuff there's horrendous dub and there's some horrendous sub i've watched some anime that uh horrendous subs right uh, but they're voice actors so it doesn't matter if you're hiring a japanese voice actor or an english voice actor as long as that is their profession and they are professional uh, uh what do you call it they're professional at it they're good at it that's what they do as a living um i don't know uh, like the dubs for samurai shampoo cowboy bebop space dandy uh they're amazing right um and a lot of other ones i've seen oh my fucking god a triple gemma oh shit dude <laughs> sleepy waves <laughs> it was only a month we were dating it was only a month dude i'm surprised you even recognized her your hard drive is fine you just know how to archive things according to their importance oh, Nick, which was that yeah i'm curious which man uh, which manga was that oh wait you might not be the right person uh are you the mass student or the european bartender <laughs> Mastoon, what a difference! A mastoon or a European bartender? I'm the mastoon. I prefer dub to. I feel like it takes away something from the uh, show. I can't quite put my finger on it. Well, because we're reading text, right? I want to see the imagery. Beautiful, right? I, there's a lot of time and energy to went to creating this animation. I want to immerse myself in the in what they've created right i don't want to read text i want dub i want dub i I've, I've watched anime lots of anime that's subtitled right no choice um but i prefer dub if i can find dub right oh never mind sorry these usernames get confusing sometimes yeah i'd make i feel you i was impressed by myself for recommending a good manga because i don't read that many uh, I learned quite a bit of Japanese. I enjoy hearing it, so I might be biased towards sub over. Yeah, if if I spoke Japanese, hundred uh, percent. Even if if I spoke broken Japanese, I would watch it, and uh, I wouldn't even watch it in sub. I would try to improve my Japanese by watching the anime. Right? Actually, I would do sub, because you do want to scan it, learn it. I prefer the Steinsgate sub, but I usually prefer the dub. Champloo, Bebop, My Hero, uh, Academia, fantastic. Uh, Psychopaths, I like the dubs more, but having both makes the rewatch easier. Cool. Is investing in Dow Jones a good thing? Um, I, it depends in which stocks. If you're investing in the in uh, the ETFs that mirror the thing, I personally wouldn't be in the Dow. Uh, did we really discuss? which anime is your favorite uh, my favorite or people's favorite I have a whole bunch of anime that I like uh, on my about page I've listed a whole bunch of anime uh, anime worth watching there's so many of them so many so many I find a lot of anime to be more real more substantial more intellectually challenging more entertaining more brilliant more beautiful than many of the live action tv shows and movies that i've seen they were really the da, 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 mada mada i don't know what mada mada is have you seen the in shadow animation no i, I don't think i've seen no i haven't seen in shadow by the way chito the steingate dub is on youtube oh is it on youtube i just posted it on this oh Odnik, thank you i've been trying to hit the pirate bay zap it from the pirate bay and i haven't been able to find again this was a, like a year ago i tried where to read about the history of china oh sleepy waves i don't know 
uh one person i've been watching uh, that's talking about the history of china uh, there's a few things i've been seeking i won't recommend anything right now because i haven't been following them long enough the history of china i just know some of it right i'm learning a lot more as time progresses oh the dub is there too wow oh, mask of raven you're happy too uh nice mata made in japanese for uh made not good enough oh popularized in the u.s by the game overwatch oh really mata made in japanese for not good enough i guess okay i love anime i just think animation is a better medium to tell science fiction stories there are less limits 100 percent odd make and animation deals with some issues that uh, that are grand that i've rarely seen dealt with in movies live action movies or tv shows maybe because there's less filters involved in anime right there's a lot of underground anime and just a studio picks up this animation that they tell it's like independent comic books right they're way more in general real intense than stuff put out with the big two right can you link me to the person you mentioned is doing content about chinese history um uh, you know what okay here let me let me give you this one okay here let me find you this i've been following this person recently okay now they're not the end all or be all of things uh you know i've only seen a few videos here let me show you this uh i think they're biased to a certain degree right they are biased there's no doubt about it okay but i found this video specifically useful okay uh it's about hong kong uh i've seen like probably three four videos from this person it's someone that i'm just recently following watching some of their stuff just to give me a perspective and uh caspian report is good as well if you do caspian report they haven't done too much on china some actually so caspian report does history uh of a lot of different places around the world and caspian report caspian report don't take everything caspian report says as absolute truth i've caught them not caught them i mean they can't they can't know everything right but they're trying to present a perspective that is legit however i am armenian i know the armenian history they're in azerbaijan and armenia and azerbaijan on conflict iran a little bit of conflict with azerbaijan with the different in that area they're presenting more of the azerbaijani perspective than the other perspective right but they've done some neutral stuff regarding china uh, because i don't know all the intricate details of chinese history right someone that knows all the intricate details of chinese history might not like the stuff that caspian report has put out i don't know that's why you need multiple sources of information okay madam maid Taju Gomu no Tutsu. What's this? Taju Gomu no Tutsu. What is that thing, Void? Let me check this out. Is this related? Is this an anime? Oh, this is regarding China history? Okay, cool. I'm going to pin that. I'll try to zap it later. Uh, oh man recently a good anime show i just watched is undone on amazon it's uh roboscoped so really uh real actors and then animated on top of them like scanners darkly okay scanners darkly was pretty good real trippy stuff that deals with mental health highly recommend to everyone okay undone uh, magus can you post that in our discord if you're there the china history podcast is a good source china history podcast okay i'm gonna zap this as well because things are kicking up in china right and with what's going on with the west so we have to be informed 
so we follow Chinese stories and whatnot. Awesome, thanks, thanks, Magus. Oh, Mask of Raven, you can write Japanese. That's cool. That's cool. Saluta. One more cuckoo. Let's pop a cuckoo. Salut, Keegan. Nice chill Sunday stream, eh? Love it, love it, love it. What else is there? What else is there? What else is there? One of the things I found are you into famous quotes? Some, depending on the quote. Fear is the mind killer. <laughs> Give us a famous quote, Keegan. Give us a fam famous quote. Odd make it is liqueur. It's uh, the other one was tea. I just drank. This is the Cornelian cherry liqueur. I still have to upload the video. I gotta edit the video and upload it. I'm just getting my editing up. Hope hope to have that up in within two weeks. Okay. Is there any way to make alcohol taste good? A Cornelian cherry liqueur, strawberry liqueur lemon liqueur liqueur is the way to go not everything but many things uh, so you know the doom and fear is the mind killer everything in mod in moderation including moderation excellent what i my version of that i don't know who said that everything in moderation including moderation uh, i do uh, extremism in moderation or in in certain degree right so you can't go extreme all the time but do extreme and then moderate your extremism right who said that anyway uh keegan everything is moderation oscar wilde said it awesome awesome dilution and lots of sugar <laughs> is the way you pronounce liquor just a canadian accent no liquor is different than liqueur liqueur specifically means uh sweet alcoholic beverage usually i think uh, more than 25 percent or something like this liquor is general over umbrella right i think anyway i like alcohol but that works uh, for my friends that don't cool he had some great quotes oscar wilde yeah I remember i don't know what they are but i know i've read some of them my friend my girlfriend has a weird sex request for me to take a real ooh, hoax not negotiable her and i don't want to is there something wrong with her that she want that type of emulation i, I don't think so I, it's something between you guys right is there something wrong with her I don't know uh, wrong um, no people have different kinks people have different fetishes people people sometimes have never had something and they want to know what it feels like and that is their thing like they want to experience that and then when they experience it they go okay I'm out right maybe she's just curious maybe she's seen stuff she thinks this but it is personal right you should talk to her you know find out if she's had that before does she enjoy it is this something she wants to do on a regular basis have you ever done how do you know you won't like it i know i wouldn't like it personally <laughs> not my thing but <laughs> just questions right ask the right questions the answers uh, are really uh, not as important like i have no idea what meat tastes like but it sounds uh kind of amazing alcoholic honey yeah sounds real cool yeah meat is really good meat is really it's got if you like honey meat is good or it could be good 
<laughs> oh his deathbed he said on his deathbed he said i'm in a war for my life with this wallpaper either it goes or i do <laughs> is that what he said seriously awesome awesome i made me before oh did you nice didn't turn out very good yeah yeah it's it depends on you know who makes it how they make it this is my favorite quote from kurt uh vonnegut oh what's your favorite quote oh we're gonna read this oh so interesting oh the sleepy waves i'll read that let's read the quote from uh Kirk Vonnegut, Vonnegut, quote, uh, from Adme, quote, thus that a handful of rapacious citizens come to control all that was worth controlling in America. Thus was the savage and stupid and entirely inappropriate and unnecessary and humorless America class, American class system created. Honest, industrious, peaceful citizens were classed as uh, bloodsuckers if they asked to be paid a living wage and they saw that praise was re reserved henceforth for those who devised means of getting paid enormous enormous enormously for committing crimes Poof. that's that's a critique odd Mick. it's not just a quote it's a critique oh it continues against which so let me read the last part and they saw that praise was reserved henceforth for those who devised means of getting paid enormously for committing crimes against which no laws had been passed thus the american dream turned belly up turned green bobbed to the scummy surface of cupidity unlimited filled with gas went bang in the noonday sun that's awesome the first part is a critique the second part is brilliant is brilliant thus the american dream this part i would put a quote kurt vonnegut uh, thus the american dream turned belly up turned green bob to the scummy surface of cubited cubidity unlimited filled with gas went bang in the noonday sun i don't even know like the visualization i get is is related to a toilet <laughs> like, that's funny uh so sleepy ways what are some interesting kinks you found people have communicated uh to you uh or to you chicho there's a lot of kinks man there's so much i have kinks. everybody has kinks uh, let me think about it i'm 26 and i've never had a romantic relationship is there any other way of getting the emotional development you would normally get from a relationship what do you look in at what do you look in at so i'm 26 and i've never had a romantic relationship is there any other way of getting the emotional development you would normally get from a relationship from a romantic relationship i'm assuming um you could have relationships where there's a lot of touching hugging caressing right but when it comes to romantic intimacy uh i don't know of or maybe i haven't explored any other type of relationship that would give you that intimacy uh, of merging with someone on that physical level uh, i don't know savage quote keegan says about all my kirks it's in two parts character than that yeah no, i'd make cut Muhammad Ali, the boxer, had a funny quote. The hardest fight I ever fought was with my first wife. <laughs> awesome. What do you think of Kirk Von, 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 Vonnegut's book? I've read some. I've read, uh, have I ever finished a full blown? No, I've never finished a full blown uh, Vonnegut book. I've read pages and brilliant. I just haven't been in the mindset to read, right? That last bit 
about gas and explosion is my favorite quote but context was needed yeah that quote the odd make that was brilliant that was awesome my wife wants to try new things in the bedroom she wants to try olympic sex i says how that go she said once every four years i i guess marathon sex would be the opposite of that right next time she says that olympic sex a <laughs> jedi is laughing once every four years <laughs> like someone brings that up to say would you like to do a marathon or a sprint <laughs> i've had sex lots of times and they were the least intimate experiences of my life got nothing from it didn't enjoy it at all here's the thing uh, what are you looking for in that uh did you have intercourse uh sex with people that you had no love for it was just a physical thing if that's the case then sex can be that as well right so sex is not the end all and be all of things of relationships but when you're really emotionally invested in someone when you bond at that level it's different than just one night stands right one night stands could be amazing don't get me wrong right they could be amazing brilliant you may want that again and again and again and again but the other one is also could be amazing and brilliant and you may want that and again and again and again and again right if you're going to read a bonga book i recommend cat's cradle really slaughterhouse five is not, yeah i've read parts of slaughterhouse five and uh, the movie was good i like the movie is normally recommended but i really think cat's cradle is his best work and most em emblematic of his ideas really cat's cradle oh i'm i'm gonna ask you to put it on discord can you that way i can add it to my reading list here i'm gonna grab it actually i'm gonna pin it cat's cradle pinning all these things i hope you guys are taking notes i am i am and i appreciate all the info all the info oh magnus something got not allowed i'm gonna allow i don't know what you said but you've been around oh it, see here's the kicker when i allow something it kicks me all the way to the top da, 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 da. hey chicho discussing relationships tonight corridor girl how are you doing this is an interesting talk to pop in on yeah so far the conversation has been great we're almost been going two hours we're almost at the end of it fantastic conversations sex should not be why you're together should have both should have both and you don't have to have both Let, let's rephrase that i don't think all long-term relationships require sex and sex doesn't need to be in only long-term relationships i i think they're just one of the aspects of a relationship that could be incorporated could not be incorporated i have no issues with people wanting to be in a long-term monogamous relationship without sex i've known people like that yeah they were mostly strangers it's just that when i hear about energy exchanges and things like that i find it silly because i felt nothing from casual sex here's one thing you could do uh what are you looking for right your name says right what are you looking for uh in at right uh find in your town some place where they're talking about tantric sex or tantra right i've taken one workshop in that okay it wasn't it was okay right but that's one place you can start there are other types of workshops sex related workshops where there is you learn a lot right there is also uh, you know i don't, I don't want to go into specific but there is different types of workshops you can take in your community to explore a little bit right uh, it just could be that you haven't come across someone that you want to immerse yourself in right once you know there are relationships you can get into where you want to immerse yourself in that human being 
there's a lot to that my problem is I can't get anyone to like me back in a romantic way it's not about getting people to like you you just have to be who you are and they just have to be interested in getting to know you right to be around your energy you can't force yourself in anyone um, I'm in a similar boat I have little to no libido and it has been the downfall of nearly every relationship I've had I just don't really enjoy sex it's more or less uh, chore I do for the sake of my partner Magus, here's the thing if you love your partner you guys could take tantric workshop and you could learn how to please them right and if you're in a intimate relationship a relationship that you really care about you should really want to please your partner so if they're into it it's part of a I don't know if you call it a chore but you let it be a part of that relationship and maybe you just have kinks that you haven't explored yet really there are kinks that get people excited I think that after after a year you get hooked and I feel that if if someone leaves you you get hurt more did you think about the kinks yeah oh did I think about the kinks it came up again right <laughs> kinks let me think about it more <laughs> sleepy waves where are we oh my god we're getting some stuff i gotta allow i don't know what's going on oh spot of tea thank you for being here booty call thank you for allowing that hi spot of tea uh i want to uh i went to a tantric workshop once felt nothing and started crying because i felt broken did you follow up did you follow up so if you tried that felt broken because tantric is really sex focused right that's one thing I really didn't appreciate about it because it was all about sex which is that's what it's about right? so uh, to me sex is more than just sex right as I've gotten older I know what that implies right um, take There are other types of workshops. There are other places you can explore. Go into the BDMS world if you like, right? Uh, hi, hi. Can I ask if there is an appropriate answer to an interview? I don't want, want it to sound like I'm throwing people under the bus. Uh, astronomy uh, guy, sure, I think so. As long as you're not trolling and stuff, you're not going to go crazy. No one has been interested in my energy for 26 years. Well, if you're 26 years old, there's absolutely no way you can say no one's been interested in your energy for 26 years. Maybe in your adulthood, which would be coming out of high school, 18, 19, so seven years, let's say. Right. Before that, you were teenage years going through puberty and you're insane like teenagers are crazy the hormones kicking in are absolutely insane right um, don't give up really don't give up I've been I've been there for a few years you know I was trying to hook up with people and no one was interested and I was going insane and then all of a sudden something brilliant happens and wow right just be patient uh, and explore different scenes what do you think uh, uh, about people that just use each other for sex like a buddha call that's fine why not right you have friends you play pool with booty call might be a little bit more serious but uh, i also don't have much of a libido and for me this is okay i am much more into cuddles and emotional intimacy with people I care about. Cuddles are amazing. Cuddles are the best. Post the casket to disco. Oh, okay, thank you very much, Admic. Added the book in UPUB uh, format to uh, EPUB, ePublished format too. So you uh, you you can read it on your phone, computer, or other. Oh, really? Awesome. 
Yeah, that's where I'm at too. Cuddles. Cuddles are cuddles cuddles are amazing. Yeah. If both people are into the booty call, I say go for it. One hundred percent. It's fine saying you don't need sex in a relationship, but society today is all about sex. You can't get away from it. Uh Jubis, you can get away from it. Stop watching corporate mainstream media Hollywood, right? There are communities that aren't just about sex. They're about intimacy, right? Hi, <laughs> Spada D. The best relationship I have, uh, relationships I have been in were based on trust, having each other's back and enjoying life together. Good sex was a bonus through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, wa there's wise uh, guys out there, Chicho. I am telling you, I went out to my local bar for a drink. The bartender asked what I want. I told him, surprise me. He shows me a naked picture of my wife. <laughs> That's funny. Haven't even been in one of these streams. What thought I'd check it out. Yeah, it's fine with you. It's a good stream right now. It's fantastic. We have one troll that I banned earlier. Man, I'm totally way behind on the chat. Doop, doop, doop. I must be going. Okay, Keegan. Thanks for popping by. Again, it was fun. If I ever see you lurking around the lower mainland, heads up. I'm going to shake your for sure. Say hi, brother. Say hi. Have you read or explored the asexuality spectrum at all? No. Intimacy has so many. Oh, it's uh, to Magnus. Different levels. And sex is just only one of those levels but i do relate how many time how many times forgot this beard how many time for how long has it been since i that this this thing's uh, i don't know probably four years now five years maybe my example of relationship is when i uh, participated in the college fed challenge initially when we formed our team the other three members lacked motivation they joined because of extra credit so i had to think of a way to motivate them my idea was to intricately motivate them intricately motivate them i knew they were smart and comp competitive people so i thought by challenging their ideas it would bring the competitive spirit out of them by the end of the competition we created a competitive but friendly environment to form a better relationship with my team members i would ask them to get coffee or lunch with me and i try to get to know them on a more personal level by the end of the competition we're all friendly and i believe this is one of the reasons we play second with awesome awesome ast astronomy guy no no worries about apologies that's great yeah 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 everyone's cheering uh. I do consider myself to be on the asexual spectrum. I love intimacy and being close with my partner. So I'm no, uh, so I'm no a romantic, but any sexual ventures I've tried and I've tried lots of things. It just seems tiresome. I don't know. So Magus, uh, would you be okay if your partner wants that interaction out of a relationship? To go outside of your relationship to get it love these cheesy jokes love these cheesy jokes <laughs> yuck, yuck. <laughs> i didn't want to believe my partner was stealing traffic signals but when i got home the signals were all there haha <laughs> do you think i'm throwing people under the bus by saying they join because of extra credit no why People do many things for extra credit, right? We did a nice two hour stream on relationships. My next door neighbor knocked on my door and accused me of stealing her underwear off her clothesline. I was so shocked. I nearly. <laughs> Jedi plastic, funny, funny. On that joke, should we call the stream gang? two hour stream nice stream enjoyed it very much thanks for being here everyone i haven't set up the next stream yet chicho advice for being more confident while dating um 
be open be honest don't judge don't judge really appreciate that you don't know everything and there's absolutely no way that you can get to know that person by judging what they like and don't like right uh, just be yourself really it man I'm much older than most of you I'm guessing this didn't come to me naturally when I was in my 20s right I've learned this over time and experience so if you want to become more confident date more right or date less find one person you're very comfortable with and just spend time with them don't try to become intimate right off the bat walk laughing is amazing right thanks magus great stream sorry i only caught the very end Spotify, it's okay brother we're gonna do a lot more of these sad i got on this stream so late seemed like a good one it was a good one uh corridor girl we had fun have a nice night chicho it's always fun to hang out you guys as well you guys as well thanks odd Mick. and thank you for hooking us up on discord this seems fun and interesting thanks for the streams it was good thanks for the great stream see you see you guys later okay hope you guys have a fantastic sunday evening and a fantastic week i'll announce more streams probably wednesday or thursday for next week and uh spot of tea thanks for popping by and taking care of some business All right good day chicho thanks for another stream finish that liqueur while you're still on the stream most deaf most deaf oh that is delicious bye everyone